Welcome to my channel. My name is Lizzie. Um, and before I get into this review, I did just want to let you guys know that I am currently doing a special over on my Patreon where if you join one of my $5 or higher tiers, you will receive a Halloween card which I will be sending out in October. So there will be a link in the description as always for my Patreon. Really there are only two rules for this. The first being um, of course like I said that you have to be five dollars or higher um, and the second is that you do have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel as well. Um, I'll be requesting screenshots as well as just going through and checking my subscribers so make sure that you have your settings um so that i will be able to see if you're subscribing to me and yeah those are really all the rules so yeah i just wanted to mention that real quick i did kind of post a short thing on here already about it but yeah let's go ahead and just get into talking about poltergeist 2. so if you have not seen my review for the first poltergeist i will leave a link to that in the description as well um and if you are unaware, the first Poltergeist is one of my favorite horror films. And I mentioned in that video that I would be reviewing the sequels. I'm not sure how many sequels there are to Poltergeist. Um, I have actually not seen any of them previously to this. I did mention in my review for the first one that the first one is one of my favorite horror films. I just have never gotten around to seeing any of the sequels. But I finally did. And I really liked it. I thought it was a really good sequel. I'm not gonna lie, I went to it a little hesitant. Um, I was just a little bit worried. We, as we all know, sometimes sequels aren't always that great. Um, and especially with kind of a film like this, I mean, I, the first one does have its very like cheesy moments, and of course this one did as well. Um, obviously this is like an 80s film, and so the effect and so the effects aren't great, uh, which is something that I talked about in the first one. But I definitely thought that some scenes held up for sure, especially um, the bathroom scene where the son's like braces start taking over him. Uh, I definitely thought that was a pretty intense scene. I don't know, bathroom scenes are just always intense for me. Uh, and I really liked that. Um, I liked the fact that Carol Ann now has kind of these like powers um and you meet her grandmother who is also um not psychic but can like see the dead or communicate with the dead um and well and i really enjoyed the fact that it was still focused on the same family from the first one and you know what happens to them after the events of the first one um i felt at first that it was a little bit odd that you know um at first I wasn't sure how I felt about the fact that it was, you know, it went from the spirits being part of the house in the first one to them basically following Carol Ann, uh, but they ended up making it all work together really well and I ended up actually really enjoying that. Um, I thought it would take away from the events of the first one, but it didn't, uh, and I thought that they did a really good job with that. Um, and yeah, I also liked the fact that you kind of find out that the mother also has these powers from, you know, her, just basically her side of the family. And all in all, I really like this film. I thought it was really good. Um, I am super, super happy, uh, which I am so super happy about, uh, seeing as, of course, I loved the first one. Again, I think the acting across the board was amazing. I think the actors that play the parents do such a good job in this film. Um, there is one particular scene between them uh, after the father gets sort of possessed by this preacher character, uh, the part of the whole thing. Um, and that scene between those two actors was so intense. And they both did such a fantastic job, and just they do in general. Um, also, the actress that played it, Carol Ann, she was, I mean, she's great in the first one, but she's, you know, older now in the second one, and she was just amazing. It's it's definitely heartbreaking. Um, if you don't know, the actress that played Carol Ann did die in real life, um, fairly young. And it's definitely, you know, just sad in general, but 
I feel like it would have been so great to see what else maybe she would have done in the future and how even more of a fantastic actress she probably would have become. But yeah, like I said, I thought that she did a really good job. I thought everyone did a really good job. Um, the only thing that I'm kind of iffy about is kind of the whole like Indian thing. Um, obviously, again, this is the 80s. That I don't think would be something that they would put into a film now or could kind of like get away with. Sorry, like Jane. It is a little bit kind of stereotypes and a little bit kind of offensive. Um, but I mean, I guess it, you know, it works for the film. Um, and it makes sense with everything that's going on in the film. Uh, but I think if there was to ever be like any sort of remake, it's definitely something uh, they would have to work around and probably leave out. Um, but like I said, I really, really like this film and I am super happy that I did. If you have seen Poltergeist 2, let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Did you enjoy it? Why or why not? If you did enjoy it in this review, please do give it a big old thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button for more horror related content and I'll see you guys later with another video.